Oh, the light is weird. Okay. It's still weird. Welcome to our new vlog. You know what? We had so much fun filming the last vlog that we are back. We're gonna try and upload one every week. Don't hold us to that. We're gonna see how this one goes first. My mom has this table at one of her rental houses and she asked if we wanted it. We don't really need it, but I am a hoarder and I can't say no. I would say recovering hoarder. Yeah, so we're gonna go pick that up now. Probably put it in storage. Here it is. How heavy is it? Okay. Here we go. Perfect. really pretty. We may use it at Holiday House. Well, I thought with all the people that when y'all host, uh -huh. if you could get, you would have to get, you know, somebody to make the boards for it. The pieces in the middle when you open it up. Yeah, the leaves. The leaves are missing. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad you got it. I hated to give it away. Farm animals love pumpkins and it is the season for pumpkins. So anytime we see pumpkins out, we get them. And I see, I see a lot of pumpkins out. <laughs> this is a great day for free stuff. We're making out good today. There's more up here, let's go. Okay. cannot be stopped. Nothing that is free on the side of the road is off limits. Gotta get dumb pumpkins, baby. Sorry, got your pumpkin. <laughs> we want a pumpkin mushkin. It is a cold, frigid, nearly winter morning here. And we are heading to the Toyota dealership to get PJ's key fob, his second key fob for his truck. He's been driving it for five months with only one fob. It's not working. It is working. It's not working for us in the long, in the grand scheme of things. Because it might lose it. Right, which with PJ's track record, for those of you who don't know, he loses quite a few things. Wallet, keys, cell phone. Green, beans, potato, We have been, oh my gosh, it's hot. Um, I really want to get an air tag. We have, I think we have air tags for you. We just have not activated them. Also, much to the dismay of my mom, I have been. <laughs> I have been um, doing a mustache. And I've been shaving, like clean shaving, which is something that I have not done in years. And now I have razor burn. And it's really grossing me out. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep up the shaving or not, but it's here for now. got to Toyota and thought it was gonna be like a five minute thing, but it turned out to be an hour. So we drove back home and Thomas is following me and 
we are going to drop my truck off and then go work out and then go back and pick it up. Which, you know, after you factor in drive time, it probably made more sense just to wait the hour to get the key fob synced with the truck. But, you know, I don't know. We just didn't do that. We did this and this seems like it may have made sense at the time, but now it seems like it might have not made sense because it's already been 30 minutes and when you factor in having to come back to get it, it's gonna be even more time, so. Anyways, I love you, bye. <laughs> Wow. All right, what's going on? What are we doing? Tell us what's happening. Making a delicious, <laughs> delectable, rah, rah. Okay. has two girls who are older than Anna and so she always goes through their clothes and gives Anna all the clothes. Anna will never have to buy clothes. Well, I wouldn't I shouldn't say Anna. We will never <laughs> have to buy clothes. Yeah, we haven't bought Anna clothes in like three years. So I'm organizing her sizes. Look at this cute bathing suit. This is cute. A lot of the our job is sitting on the computer. That's why whenever we film these day in the life vlogs and people are like, do you guys not work? And it's like, so much of our job is um, sitting at a computer writing or editing. And if I were to film every time we did that, that's all our vlogs would be. And they'd be very, very boring. I said, did I say blogs or vlogs? vlogs right now though i'm writing a script for a collaboration and it's actually due today so i need to hurry up and finish i have to go get alan in like two minutes from tutoring pj is still working on these clothes lauren gave us a lot of clothes we're so grateful but they they do take a bit to go through they're so cute though okay it's my fart anyways Ruby, she was made for going west Did not protest my wandering way Ruby, she was pretty as they come 28 years on the She gave me shelter on the coldest night PJ is eating his favorite yogurt. It's called We by YoPlay, and it's like this French style yogurt. They sent us this in the mail like a year and a half ago, maybe more, I don't know. This, I have bought every week since they sent it to us. And I, mm. I used to get vanilla, but now my favorite flavor is coconut. Coconut? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it comes in little glass jars, which is really cute. We always have plans to save the jars and make like little floral arrangements out of them and then we get too lazy, then we don't. Anyways, it's a gorgeous day here in Tennessee. The morning started off so peacefully. But then we had a spelling test to go over and Alan was not feeling practicing his words this morning. Anna was not feeling her new shoes this morning. 
but we made the most of it and everyone got off to school in one piece. So now we have to go donate some clothes. Lots of clothes. Lots and lots of clothes, go work out, go to the farm. And then I am picking up a stand mixer. We are picking up a stand mixer today. I found it on Facebook Marketplace and sent it to Thomas. He's been wanting one for years. I really have. And the plan was to get one on Black Friday because they were on sale, but PJ found this one on Facebook Marketplace for a steal of a deal, as he would say. And for those wondering, PJ's Facebook Marketplace obsession has only gone down a little bit. Well, I haven't been, I haven't bought, the only thing I bought on Facebook Marketplace was hay for the sheep, which we had to do. That's true. I've been really good. That's true. But I mean, but you, you still look. I feel like you browse, but you just like don't, you window shop. He's been window shopping and luckily it paid off for me. Cause I'm gonna get a brand new stand mixer today. So when I finish this, Jolie also loves this. And I'll always go. Oh. <laughs> and she hears it and she's like. She's right there. Cute. I wanna, yeah, we need to film her eating it. I need to watch her. Oh my gosh, she's like licking her chops. She Why is baby? ready. And what's also equally funny is she has awful hearing and she can barely hear anything, but she can always hear the clink clink. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm going. I just got finished dropping off the donated clothes to a local charity organization called Hope For One. They helped us four and a half years ago whenever we first got placed with our kids while they were in foster care. They provided us like car seats and plates and clothes, so many things. So anytime that we have clothes that we need to donate or get rid of, we always drop off there. So if you're local and you are able to um, donate. It's called Hope for One. And yeah, they're just a really great organization. Okay, I just got back. Shut up, I just got back from getting our very first ever KitchenAid stand mixer. How does this come out? I don't know. So this is the one that PJ found on Facebook Marketplace. Um, this is my Christmas present to you. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> you had to go get it yourself. I had to go get it myself. He was sorting out tax stuff. This was also, I'm pretty sure, my first Facebook Marketplace purchase on my own. So I, I'm gonna be honest, I was like kind of nervous to go. I thought about calling, calling you while I was there and putting you on speakerphone, but it was fine. The guy was really nice. And But I finally have my sand mixer that I've always wanted. I'm so happy. Happy holidays to me. All right, so on the way to get the stand mixer, I also stopped by the P.O. box. And look at all of these sweet packages, you guys. Thank you so much. We still have a P.O. box. And we still receive so many letters, and um, I think some of these are holiday cards. And packages, and oh, just so sweet. All right, PJ's modeling. All right, some of the clothes that Keith sent us. Looking good. Keith, thank you so much. You are the sweetest. <laughs> have been collecting pumpkins. Pumpkins. Because all of the animals on the farm love them. The donkeys love them. The sheep love them. The pigs love them. The geese love them. Josie Borhog McKay really loves them. Oh. See that? <laughs> Josie, you are so funny. She love it. I will her. <laughs> Oh, my sweet maple bacon. Yeah. My sweet maple bacon. I love you. Yeah, Josie, 
forever <laughs> constantly smells like maple for some reason. She's a sweet girl. That's Josie's mama, who is so mean to her. All the sheep are in the back. I'm gonna go look at him. This is my favorite time to come out here. Oh, look at that. Look at that donkey. That donkey <laughs> loves him too. Hi. Hi, donkey. You are the Okay, so we got this table, my mom had it. We went back and forth on whether or not we wanted it. I kind of always wanted it. Thomas was like pushing not to get it because he knows I'm a hoarder. However, look at this tiny little table, okay? It's cute, right? We knew that, let me see it. We knew that it got bigger because of this. However, we didn't know how big it got. So let me just show you. I don't know what is in the world. Why would you ever need a table this big? I am obsessed for one. I mean, obsessed, obsessed. It would be beautiful but it's like where are the leaves like where would you store them did when this table was built did they come with enough leaves leaves like i just i don't get it <laughs> 